let me see. I'm going to show you an investigation that I did in Fresno, California. Uh, this happened in uh, early November. I received a call from Univision. The Univision is the biggest uh, Hispanic network here in the U.S. And they told me, we just have received a video from somebody that's really scared. Uh, this person recorded this uh, video from his um, um, surveillance camera in the house. And we need you uh, advice about the video. We want to know what you think about it. So we went to Fresno uh, to see and uh, uh, watch this video. And I just talked to the reporter, and she wanted me to say that they were uh, UFO, I mean, extraterrestrials. And I said, well, I can't say anything because I need to talk to the person who took the video. I, I, I can make my mind, you know, I need to have more facts about what, what's happened. So they called this this uh, uh, person that uh, took the video. Um, he was so scared that said, yes, I go to the TV station and talk to you. So we were waiting for about two hours to, to this guy to appear in the TV station. And finally, I have the chance to talk to him. He was really nervous. He was scared. Uh, he didn't want to, uh, his face uh, were recording the, in the video. So he just told me that Sunday night, Sunday night, he was sleepy, and then he started uh, listening to dogs, the dogs barking in a pretty strange way. Uh, you know, everybody knows the, their dogs, and you know when something is going on, pretty different. So he he start, he just wake up because the the, the dogs start barking. And uh, and said, well, somebody tried to steal something from our the front yard because it happened before. That's why they put the cameras. So he just uh, wake up, and when he wake up, this is not the video. Uh, when he just wake up, he looked to the monitor, and he said those things. Just watch. What is the laser? Okay, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, let's see. Right here is walking. They come, okay, this is the front yard of this house. This is small palm. Over here is the street, and here is a fence. So he just wake up because the door, the, the dogs uh, were barking pretty bad, and he starts seeing this creature over here. You can see how he just stopped, maybe because he heard the dogs or something, and then start walking again. You see the movement of this uh, being is kind of natural. This is not the video, okay? <laughs> yeah, because some people say, say hey, what happened there? But the more amazing thing is that second bean. This is the second. And you can see the big difference from the first one. Well, well this guy was really scared. And uh, it, that, that happened in November. He didn't give me the address and, and his telephone number, nothing. He just showed me the video. The Univision, they, did, they didn't give me a copy of the video. So I just talked talk to him, see the video, and that's it. And I said, well, hopefully he's going to call me and say something, you know. Well, that happened in February. He called me and, said, uh, and asked me, did you find out something about my video? I said, no, I don't have any copy of the video, so can you give me a copy of that? Yeah. So I met him in his house. This is the front uh, door. That's Jose, who's from, from Fresno. Now he's more relaxed. Uh, yeah, no, no, anymore is more scared about what happened. Let me show you the images because the time is just running fast. It's not the alien thing. Okay. So 
what I want is to see the front yard where the video was recorded. You can see the palm. This is uh, three months later. So, so this is the fence. So they cross the fence. They have to be really thin. Just walk to the front yard. It's about two or three uh, foot high. It's, it's not really big. Well, anyway, you see the front yard. Just let me put again the video so you can enjoy it again. And finish with that. Anyway, we, we are keeping, uh, I mean, we, we are still uh, investigating this uh, this case. Um, hopefully, we're going to have a good results from the video. But, but this is really amazing. I don't know where they are. I mean, it's, it's uh, uh, I don't know. No. Could be extraterrestrial, could be elves. I don't know. Whatever you want to think. Just I want to show, show you this and make you on mine. Uh, we're going to keep you... Uh, with the information that maybe we can have later, but it's a really, really amazing uh, video for those two blue beans recorded in Fresno, California. Well, I really appreciate your time. Thank you very much to, to be with us, and hopefully we can give you more information about what's really going on in Mexico with OMIFO organization. Um, you've been a wonderful uh, audience in this evening. I want to thank you very much and uh, move on to invite us on this time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great video. Great video to end on. Uh, we've got about a 12 to 15 minute break before our last presentation for the evening. Dr. Colm Kelleher and George Knapp on the Skinwalker Ranch. So feel free to stretch your legs. We've got the silent auction in the back. I checked with the vendor room. There are uh, a few tables still open. So if you wanted to head on down there, there are a few, few tables open. Uh, so uh, make sure you're back in here about 12 to 15 minutes and we'll get going. <laughs>